Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Wherever you are, English language teachers worldwide. Are you here? Can you hear me? Can you see me? Yeah? <laughs> Good to see everybody here today. Whoa, 43 people, fabulous. Where are you from? Tell us where you're from, English language teachers around the world. This is English language teaching techniques and our focus is listening and pronunciation. And for some reason, I can't see the chat box, so I'm gonna, I see people typing, wow, but I don't see the messages, which is odd. So let me figure out why I can't see that. But I see everybody's here and typing, wow. Fantastic. Don't see why I can't see it though. Vishal, if you're in here, man, if you can send me a message and let me know why. I see, I see, I see everybody that's here, but I don't see the actual chat. But anyway. I'm glad to see everybody's here. Try to figure out why I can't see that chat box in a moment. Uh, but if you see me, that's good. I'm assuming you can see me and you can hear me right now. And, uh, oh, look at all these people. I can see the list. We've got a lot of folks here today. Fantastic. Again, I don't know why I can't see the chat. I got the chat up here, but it's just not, not showing up. Uh, anyways, we'll figure that one out. And what I'd like to do is to start. Ah, I'm getting a message here from Vishal. I'm doing something stupid here. I don't know why. I could see it before, and then it just disappeared. So let's see. Mm -mm. Let's see, let's see. I'm glad everybody seems to still be meeting and greeting while I deal with my silly issue. I can see the chat. Vishal, it's not minimized. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to Vishal live on Skype. It's not, it's not minimized actually. It's right there. So I guess you must, uh, you have to select all of. Uh, it is on all. Can you share the screen on Skype with me? Uh, no, unfortunately, unfortunately, I can't. Oh. Yeah. Why, why don't I just go ahead? That's fine. It, it's 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 definitely a bug because uh. I've got the all up there and don't know what it is actually. Uh, just make sure, uh, I mean, with the green background, if there's a chat option on the bottom left of the whiteboard. Chat option on the bottom left of the whiteboard. Well, I got the, like I said, the chat is up. I've got the chat up. It says all. Uh, so everything's up. Just refresh it once and check. Ah, uh, that's you know what I'm gonna come back in the room because now my screen is frozen also.
Hooray! I can see it now! I'll show you. I'm sure it'll be fine when he comes back in. That's from Sylvia. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't that. It, I've done really stupid things before, like minimize the chat and all that stuff. So uh, I'm not surprised that's what everyone thought was wrong. But in fact, there was uh, some, some little glitch. Uh, can you see me? Thank you, Vishal, for helping me on Skype. You can see me. Great. Can you hear me? Am I too loud? My volume's okay. <laughs> I don't want anyone to get angry because I'm screaming and yelling. <laughs> or in your face too much with the hands. Uh, <laughs> hopefully we can edit out the recording. I know Dr. Nelly is in the house and she's uh, recording. So at least the YouTube recording, we can cut out that first garbage at the beginning. And get right. Ines doesn't mind the hands. Thank you. So kind of you. Um, Great to see so many folks here. Sorry about the false start, uh, but it looks like we got about 20 more people who didn't miss anything because the beginning was uh, just me screwing around. Uh, my name is Jason R. Levine. Please call me Jace. I'm also known as Fluency MC for the songs I make uh, for YouTube and elsewhere uh, to teach learners in many subjects, but primarily English language learning. That's my background mainly and my focus and why we're here in ELT Techniques. So uh, what I'd like to do today to talk about Kalo Tunes, which are the songs that I make and make videos for, is to begin uh, with a little background, a little introduction to what Kalo is and Kalo means. And this is in courseware, so you can check this out later if you want to read it uh, more carefully. But basically, um, what we have, oh, and by the way, I, because of all that mess, I didn't really greet everyone. So we're going to have to get shout outs at the end from your countries and all that, because I see some cool countries and I see oh, you, uh, uh, Moldova and Romania. Uh, we'll get back to you. So I'm not going to neglect you uh, as far as seeing who we are, where we're from. So we'll get back to that because that's, that's a must. But Kahlo is short for collocation. And I think most of you are familiar with what a collocation is, a word combination. And this page right here just gives that very basic background to people who might not know about it. Uh, certainly, uh, the, you might not know what Kahlo is because that's the shortened form that my students and teachers and I uh, created because we used it so much in the classroom. And what I talk about here with the, uh, the old-fashioned, the first uh, Bloom's Taxonomy image of the, of the hierarchy of the objectives, is how important the knowledge level is in language learning. If we don't have those chunks, those collocations at that level, how can we expect our students to move up? And the whole point of my songs is, number one, to hit that level of language acquisition in order to move up later. I see so many teachers, like a lot of folks here, who have wonderful ideas and lessons that call upon students' higher order thinking, right? Great stuff to apply knowledge and, and, and evaluate it. But if the students don't have the basics right there, and that comes through a lot of repetition, they're not going to do so well uh, on those other activities because in their second language, they won't have the pieces they need to develop critical thinking. Kahlo Tunes, that's why we're here today. I do have other materials I've made uh, based on this approach. Kahlo Cards are the main ones. You can see Kahlo Cards in one of these pictures here, the one to the right. But Kahlo Tunes are the songs. We're going to get right into that. Again, you can look at this later. Uh, it's in the courseware, so it's for you and to share. Obviously, it's advertising for me and what I do. Um, but basically, uh, one of the components of, of Kahlo Tunes, the approach, a big, big component, uh, or I should say two components, pronunciation and listening uh, focus. So what I've done today is to choose some of the songs that I have uh, for different levels to make sure we right, try to get something that uh, every teacher here will connect with, identify with, and think their students might want to use. Um, songs that, that are particularly focused on pronunciation and listening practice. So, without further ado, we're going to get into that with a video. This first video you will see right away is entry-level Kalo Tune material. <laughs> Let's 
do a little test though first. Oh, did you hear that? Did you hear anything? We're going to do a test because I've got a few videos, so I definitely don't want to do these and have some problems with them. I cut it off, yes. Nothing now. <laughs> I'm going to start it again and cut it off. We're going to do a little test here. You can't hear. Okay. If it's in general, if generally it's okay, then that means there might be an individual issue. You need to go out, come back in like I had to do today. Uh, if you mean there's nothing now, it's because I'm not playing it now. Here we go. This is A to Z sounds. And when you listen and watch, think about, please, how you would use it possibly with your students, or if you don't teach young learners, although this has been used with adults also, uh, just in general, what could you do with the video? And it is a YouTube video, yeah. The same problem again with the chat unfortunately I can't see anything except from like three minutes ago <laughs> but uh, hopefully that will come back uh, what could you do so I'm glad Sylvia dr. dr. Ann is here uh, since I'm having this problem with the chat which is no big deal uh, hopefully it'll come back uh, take a look at uh, please Sylvia and dr. Nelly which questions and comments people have for later we can talk about everything but what how would you use this or how do you think a young learners teacher might use this song or video what, what is it focusing on and and what what could you do with it well maybe it's the chat is going by so fast all I see is people typing I can tell you the names I see Jennifer's typing and Nura's typing and Jagu's typing and Guadalupe's typing and Mohammed's typing and Suleiman's typing. But yeah, I don't see, I, I can't unfortunately see any of the comments. Um, this song, so I'll just proceed and you guys can do the chat and hopefully it'll come back for me. Um, uh, 
And uh, yeah, Vishal saying to select all, but every everything is select all. I've already selected all. But anyway, um, I'll just tell you a little bit about how I use it. Why not? And then we can compare and talk uh, later about it. So um, what, as you see, I divided it into half. So the second part, the kids can shout out the names of the words. They're not focusing on the. Uh, I'm sorry, on the sounds of the word. So you're not telling them so much, you know, these are the sounds and these are the letters. It's not a phonics approach where you're uh, trying to raise their awareness too much, right? You're just giving them practice. One thing I like to do uh, with the uh, with this song. Oh, good, everyone's back. Thank you, I see you now. <laughs> sorry to get so thrown off. I've never had this happen before. I'm so used to using the chat. I love the chat feature. It was like you. Oh, there you are, my friends. <laughs> so, um, yeah, um, hopefully you won't disappear again. It must be something on my end today. Don't know what it is. Uh, so the idea here is, and we're going to look at a couple more videos where I am trying to point out a little bit more about phonics because uh, the learners are a little bit older, but not too much. This is something we've talked about a lot so far with in almost every presentation. How much should we make uh, pronunciation features uh you know, explicit to students, regardless of their age. Uh, when does this help them? Maybe from a strategy point of view, when could it <clears throat> hinder, you know, interfere with fluency and and motivation to to work with uh, English materials? I have an A A to Z letters song. This is A to Z sounds, and what I'd like to do now is show you A to Z chant. So not a, uh, it's not a video. We're gonna do, I'm gonna do it live for you here. Just need to get my, my media player out of here. It doesn't wanna leave. So maybe I can just hide that. Oh, there's the X. Must be some problem on my end today, not with IQ. Something with my internet connection. I don't know what it is. I'll put that down there. And A to Z chant. Could you tell me if you can see this document should be up in a moment. I can't see the chat anymore. You know what? I'm going to do another go out and come back in because I can't uh, seem to get any of my stuff anymore. So. Be back in a sec. Don't go anywhere. I'm back. <laughs> yeah, new problem, Sylvia. I've never seen it before either. Uh, I'm going to get rid of, but look, I think refreshing seems to be the way. So if you don't see me for a second, I'm just going to go out and come back because that's working very quickly. Can everybody see this PDF document? The media player should be bye bye, vamos, goodbye. Yes, problem solved. Right. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Maybe it's cookies within the browser. Maybe I haven't eaten enough cookies. Maybe I ate too many cookies. Uh, a to Z is showing. We're gonna do. I'm gonna do this song. Think about what this one's about. I'll give you a little clue. We don't say you and me. We say you and me. Remember Shrinkin and Lincoln. And if anyone can tell me what this kind of collocation is called, boy, I'd be really happy. There's a special name for this kind of collocation. Well, for most of these here. I'm gonna play the song A to Z chant and do this live. If you want to join in. You can, but if it's the first time you've heard this song, you may just want to listen first. Certainly your students, you don't want them to do it first. Excuse me, give them some time to read it, listen, enjoy it the way we do with music. I'll do it a couple times. How's that music? Too loud, too soft? I can see the chat perfectly. Varvara said it's great. Claudia says it's simply lovely. Silly Man says it's good. Hector says okay, and Slata says great, and Jaga thumbs up, and Muhammad very nice. 
Great, good, lovely, okay, perfect, claps, and okay, awesome from Maria. It looks good, says David. And now the phone's ringing. Gosh, I better get right to my song. We got six years old, the kids hanging out, singing along. All right, here we go. Let me rewind that. That was just the sound check. This is A to Z chant. Can you feel the rhythm? Can you imagine the song? Probably just from the beat, you can imagine the song, right? All right. What happens when I do this stuff with iTunes is it just, it likes to hide on me. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh, but I lost my lyrics. <laughs> Let's try that again. I swear to God, we're going to make this happen. Here we go. It's like this. A, B, C, U and me. D, E, F, right and left. G, H, I, low and high. J, K, L, show and tell. M, N, O, yes and no. Fast and slow, stop and go. P, Q, R, near and far. S, T, U, one and two. B, W, three and four, two. X, Y, Z. Fiddle D D, do re me and a T he he back to A B C D E F G H I J K L. How about this M N O? How about the letters now? Near and far. One and two. Three and four, two. Fiddle dee dee. Do re me and a tee hee hee. <laughs> All right, that's A to Z chant. Tee hee hee, yeah. <laughs> it's a short one. Judging from the uh, comments and uh, submissions I saw for the pre class task, you guys could go crazy with this song. You could do a million things with this song. Th this is why I make songs number one, I have to say, if you don't know already, it's to inspire, I hope, learners and teachers to be creative with it, all right? So I have lots of things in mind when I made this song and others that you could do, but I keep quiet about it mainly because what I've found is if I make the right kind of chant or song, people develop the right kind of materials with it. Let's get some ideas here. You could use what? How could you do? What could you do with this? I've got activity. This is in my book, by the way, which you can get through my website with the song. Uh, I have activities with it. Actions. Definitely some TPR, right and left, right? Near and far. Practice adjectives. Ooh, stickers. I like that, Dr. Nelly. Focus on opposites. Professor Tony's in the house. Get students to do their own chants. Yeah, this one hopefully, you know, sets the bar pretty low in a good way for being, uh, being able to make your own because it's not so hard. Now, if it's really young kids, maybe not, but right? I've done this, by the way, with adults. They love it. Beginner adults. Beginner adults. Uh, movement and pronunciation at the same time. Exactly. Thank you, you're going to get my book. Thank you, Laura. <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah, location. You could take this and then build build on it, right? You could make another verse where you're talking about other prepositions of locations, other adverbials. Names of the months. Very nice. Good stuff. Uh, let's segue from this to another song I wrote. It's also in my book which is called Rhyme On Time, by the way. We're going to do this one, too. What's going on in this song? Can you look at it and tell me before we do it? I'm assuming you can see this. Sylvia, by the way, Sylvia, Sylvia, uh, the woman of many different nicknames, was the first person to review, actually the first person ever to do a full review of my book uh, not long after it came out. So, um... I have that link to that great uh, review on my website. Minimal pairs. 
minimal pairs, very powerful in pronunciation. But you know, minimal pairs, talking about what is a minimal pair. Uh, we assume adults benefit from that, and sometimes they do. They think it's kind of interesting. You can compare, you know, minimal pair in your language with the minimal pair in 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 English. Uh, you can talk about what the difference between a homonym, homonyms, and minimal pairs. But just always keep in mind as we keep talking about it. Uh, I mean, as we keep having these presentations, following listening pronunciation topic. How much do you raise awareness? And you know, with kids, it's maybe more obvious. Well, the kids are really little, so we don't need to talk about what a homonym is, and what a minimal pair is. Please keep in mind that even as people get older, or because they get older, and they're thinking so much, analyzing, translating, sometimes talking explicitly about these terms, even though, of course, they'll get it and think, oh, you're a smart teacher, and you know about linguistics, doesn't always help so much. So what I would do, I've done this song a lot with, uh, I've done it with a little bit with uh, kids learning to read. I think there's a lot that could be done with this song for early reading phonics. I've done it more with, you know, second language learners, middle school and up. And we talk a little bit about what a minimal pair is in a homophone, have some fun with that. So I think that is really uh, a good thing to do a little bit. But then once we do the song, I'm not talking about homophones and minimal pairs so much. <laughs> she's the teacher and she gets confused exactly so this is you know learning a language I don't think should be about the teacher showing off like I know the difference between a homonym a homograph and a hum you know and if you're nervous about that you know it's, it's about demonstrating to a point where people are following along and motivated number one and then you hit them with the material that they like to practice with does not have to be a song uh, sometimes people say, do you teach chess with songs? And I always laugh because I really don't. And I have videos of, of, of myself teaching uh, without, uh, mostly without songs. Uh, but anyways, a song's obviously amazing opportunity to show what words look like written, what they sound like, and have that sound spelling relationship. So here is rhyming words. I'm going to play you actually the song, the MP3 that you get with my materials. Uh, and I'm not going to do it live. You can just listen, but it is me doing it. This is rhyming words. Man, tan, pan, fan, make a new plan, empty the trash can. Now you repeat. Make a new plan. Men, ten, when, ten, see you again, okay, see you then. Fun, tongue, done, run, hit a home run, lie in the sun. Where, bear, where, stare, can't take a chair, say a short prayer. Here, fear, here, fear, start a career, be a volunteer. Core, nor, war, war, do an easy chore, go to the store. Car, far, bar, star, drive really far, play the guitar. Cut, nut, what, but, 
feel it in your gut. Slam the door shut. Spot, not hot, got, put it in the pot, hit the jackpot. Coat, note, boat, rope, clear your throat, go out and vote. funny you know I get email from uh, and messages a lot from teachers who either suggest things like I hear see here for this song and others or they say why don't you do that this song is missing this you should do to me it's the same thing because first I have a lot of my own stuff that I don't put out there uh, but I will uh, in the future for sure and then teachers make their own stuff and, and submit it to me or just put it out. That's my favorite. So uh, Teresa said and other people reinforced, we need visuals. Absolutely. Um, same for A to Z chant. So I have some videos uh, with images um, and some not. There's no video for this one. Can you imagine some activities here? What kind of visuals? Let's talk about visuals, really important. From where? Where could these visuals come from? Students create them. Make them relax by doing it. Pictures about the words. Kids do the drawings. Add clip art. Not always enough time for kids to do drawings. Not all kids like to make drawings. Maybe you have flashcards already that go with some of these. You could match the flashcards. Draw in the air. Uh, yeah, the hashtag ELT picks. Uh, Tony Garcia magazines, cut them out. Yeah, before people start burning all those paper books, <laughs> cut, them, cut them out. <laughs> Dance the drawing, PowerPoint. So excellent, excellent stuff. Yeah, so that did does not did not go unnoticed uh, on me. On the contrary, I'm always thinking about how do something basic, and then what can we do from it? Putting your own. Uh, stamp on it. So that's rhyming words. A little bit long, right? Uh, a few things about my songs. Let me get them in here right now because I always need to point them out. One is, if you think something's long, you can always do just a part of it. Moreover, more teachers than not have less time to, in the classroom than they wish. So a little bit each day or, you know, maybe on Friday or on Monday or at some point in the lesson, you could continue a song, right? You could just start with the man, men, fun lines. And then you could do a little more the next day. Little bit's better anyway, right? With language, we often hear this analogy, it really, it really applies. You know, where you go to the, better to go to the gym every day a little bit or do sit-ups each day a little bit than wait to one day of the week to do them. Uh, you know, like, I'm going to learn English studying on three hours on Sundays, right? Cut it up, use it how you like it. That's right. Get those scissors out, start cutting. <laughs> Next, I'm going to show you a video. So this one is full of visuals. 
I also want you to notice something. In this one, it's called Say Hey. Does anybody know that song? Say Hey. Maybe a couple of you out there uh, have heard that song. If you haven't, you have no choice. You're going to hear it now. I've got you imprisoned in the classroom. This one is Say Hey. You're going to notice a little bit of raising awareness about pronunciation. So please notice that. I want you to let's, let's talk about that. What sounds do you think is this going to focus on? Say hey. Can you imagine? Hey. <laughs> Long a. Let's do a little test again. Let's try it. Yep. So remember we're going to try it. It's a diphthong song. <laughs> and if I have to exit and come back, I will do so because so far I just see some buffering of this song. So let's see if we can get it going here. Diphthong song. Does everybody see it buffering? Are we just buffering here? I might have to go out and come back, which seems to do the trick today. So that's what I'm going to do. Adios. Just for a sec. I'll be right back. Everybody say hey. Now say yay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. A is for day like a day Hello again. in May. A day in May when Let's you give it a shot. To play. You don't want to stay inside. No way. If there's any issue with YouTube, uh, okay. Do not worry. Oh, I hear it. Mix it and put it in the oven. Yeah. But I don't see it. Oh, okay. <laughs> do you see anything? You do? You see it. Well, good for you. I don't see anything. But I've seen the video before. When your birthday? Day. Shout out to Dave. Well, uh, Jace is out. He should be back soon. Uh, since I can speak in this recording, I will. It's really amazing. Um, we're waiting for Jace to come back. Looks like he's doing a disappearing act today, which is uh, great. You know, um, that's what uh, show people do. They come and go. And um, as long as we're being entertained and we're learning, there's Jace. Yes, he's there back. was a break. Sorry about that. I am back. Um, <laughs> can you see? Everybody say hey. And can you hear? Let's say yay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No video? 
just playing. But you can hear it. Isn't that interesting? Because we saw the other video, the A to Z video, but not this one. Very interesting. Um, let's try something else. Can you see this? They threw, they threw, they threw, through the hoop. They threw, 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 And now the chat disappeared for me. It's just not my day here. At least you can see and hear me, but I can't see you anymore. I think there's just, maybe I loaded the class up too much and there's so many people here. Um, could you see that? You can only hear it. Now I see it. No video displaying. All right. Uh, I'm not sure why that is, but we're going to hear Say Hey then. And... Um, I'll play the video, you can listen, and you can check out the video later. I'm going to put these videos, by the way, in our course, uh, so you'll be able to watch those later. So they'll be in courseware. Say hey. Sorry if you can only hear it. Everybody say hey. Everybody say hey. Let's say yay. Let's say yay. Okay. Okay. A is for day like a day in May. A day in May when you go out to play. You don't want to stay inside. No way. Go on, I say. Get out, okay? A is for make. Let's make a cake. Mix it and put it in the oven to bake. How I hate to wait, it'll be after eight when that cake's on my plate, but I'm ready right now to celebrate. The hoop. They threw three, three throw. Video play, but I didn't touch a thing. <laughs> um, what we're going to do instead is just take a look and say, "Hey!" And I'm going to do it live. We'll get out of this media player nonsense because it's just not my day with the media player. Um, you got the idea, Slavka? Oh, good! Ever the chat is back. How about a live acapella version? Now nah, we'll do a live. Uh, we'll do a live music version. Let me get the music going on here. Say, hey, I got it somewhere. You can always watch the video, but I don't get to do this live in ELT Techniques every day. So let's try that. But I want you to help me with it. To make an announcement about the music. Yeah, we'll do it live. Say, hey, isn't that better anyway? Of course. Definitely. <laughs> uh, where are you, say, hey? Let me just get it up here. I've got a DJ, by the way. His name is Alejandro. He's just waiting. Everybody say waiting in the hey, hey, the video's playing again. Say hey. I'm telling you, Let's this, this yeah. media player's got a mind of its own today. Let's get it out of here. It won't let me exit out either. Get out. Go away. It won't go away. Come on, get out of here. Go now, go now. Now, it doesn't want to leave. We just have to move it. Well, I'm going to move mine down. Anyway, uh, I'm going to put on the music for Say Hey. Can you hear that? Yeah, you can hear it? Good. I hope Everybody it's... Say, say hey, hey, okay, say it. <laughs> I say yay. Well, okay. Like a day in May. A day in May when you go out to play. You don't want to stay inside. No way. Go on, I say. Get out, okay? A is for make. Let's make a cake. Mix it and put it in the oven to bake. Then take a break. Cause A is for wait and wait and wait. How I hate to wait. It'll be after eight when that cake's on my plate. But I'm ready right now to celebrate. When 
When's your birthday? What's the date? When's your birthday? Shout out the date! Yeah, that's where you shout it out, but you know what? Don't kill me now. We're gonna run that back because that's not the version I want. That's an old version. Free, free throws Here we go now. Room. Everybody say, hey, let me hear you again. Oh my god, the media player! Get out of here! <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I think the media player's gone now. <laughs> you want me to dance? Here we go, everybody! Hey, it's the day like a day in May. A day in May when you go out to play. You don't want to stay. Oh, you can't see the lyrics. Here we go. I <laughs> say, get out. Hey, what happened? Hey, it's the make. Let's make it. There we go. You know what? We're going to do this right. Dr. Nelly, you're going to have to do a little more cutting than usual on the video. Everybody say, hey, I know you're ready now. This is part of Relax, Repeat, Remember. <laughs> I, there's just so much rocking going on in this classroom. It's like it's rocking the lyrics over here. It's rocking the media player over there. All right, here we go. Are you ready? <laughs> A's for day, like a day in May. A day in May. When you go out to play, you don't want to stay inside. No way. Go on, I say. Get out, okay? A is for make. Let's make a cake. Mix it and put it in the oven to bake. Then take a break. Because A is for wait. And wait and wait. How I hate the wait. It'll be after eight when that cake's on my plate. But I'm ready right now to celebrate. When's your birthday? What's the date? When's your birthday? Shout out the date, everybody! July 27th, 19 something. A is for game. How about a game? A fat chicane so we can play a game. Can you guess my name? Is your name the same? What's your name? Flow a CMC! <laughs> hey, that media player's back. Get out of here! Wait, name, game. A is for air, please care about the air, so we can be healthy everywhere, here and there. Don't forget to share your teddy bear or your rocking chair, but you don't need to share your underwear. <laughs> A is for shape, what's your favorite shape? An oval is the shape of an egg or a grape. Batman wears a cape to escape. A is for race, he can win any race. So can Superman fly through space to chase a bad guy all over the place. A is for save, like money to save. Money that your grandma or your grandpa gave because you're a good kid and know how to behave. Everybody! Fair, share, rate, shape, chase, place, gave, a is for rain that goes down the drain or blows all over in a hurricane. You could take a long trip on a train or a plane. You could go to Spain or Maine or Ukraine. Ah, someone from Ukraine here today. Just use your brain. I know Ukraine's in the house. A is for mail. Send me an email. Are you mail? Or are you female? Do you swim or sail? Are you mad when you fail? Do you want to sit and listen to a fairy tale? A is for aid. You need a band-aid or homemade lemonade in the shade. Don't be afraid to get a bad grade. What matters most is the effort you've made. I know that you'll make a lot of good grades. Kyle and Spark, you'll have it made in the shade. Now say, hey! Fluency family in the house! <laughs> say, hey! Woo! Super Fluency family woman in the house! Gordana in the house! Sylvia in the house! Aisha Suleiman in the house! Maria! Alejandra Pina in the house! Jaga in the house! Media player in the house! Get out of here! Yeah, that media player is like a jack-in-the-box. <laughs> Fluency family. <laughs> Woo! ELT techniques. Beautiful.
beautiful, beautiful to do this with all these wonderful teachers all around the world. You know, even in the physical classroom, there can be problems, right? <laughs> with technology and everything else. Sometimes the teacher has to leave the room and come back in, right? Thank you, Fatima. I'm glad you think I rock. A uh, couple things I have to say about the songs. I gotta say them again and again. Sometimes teachers say to me more than sometimes. They say, "I like what I like this, but there's a problem. I can't use it in my classroom." And I say, "Well, why?" And they say, "Because I don't rap. I don't want to rap." What I say is, "What the students do." I say, look, you don't, you don't make conversation CDs of your voice doing role play. I mean, you could, but usually, but usually that's, input that's input you bring in. Moreover, Moreover that's native speakers. You might, you might want to bring them in, if nothing else, to give variety to, to the exposure your students have. The other thing is that teachers have other jobs to do, no? I don't mean I don't think teachers should do it with me. That's great, but if you're up there, you know, A is for shape, like right? You might be missing a few things, such as what? It's great if you want to do it with me and your students, but what else can teachers be doing during these songs? Monitor the process. One thing I do is I take notes because they're not paying attention. They're reading or they're doing it. I can look at the group dynamics. I can look at, I can listen to their pronunciation. I can get ideas for what to do next. So if you want to do it with me, great. But you certainly don't have to. That's a, I'm the input here. And not just me, other songs and other people's stuff, right? That's the whole point. Uh, but if you're the type of person that likes to do it, you do it. That reminds me of similar advice for students. Do all students like to get up and perform? Tell me. Tell me. Because sometimes students say, uh, sorry, teachers say to me, Chase, what's wrong? My, uh, my students don't do it. I say, come on, do the song, do the song. I'm telling them, do it, do it. <laughs> they might be shy. What else? It's not just being shy. That's important. <laughs> if they don't like the song, I agree. Then you got to switch songs. I like, I like what. There's usually one, right? There's usually one or two that really like to do it. So you figure out who they are, and you can make groups. There are different things people can do. But almost everybody, and there's the mistake issue, but almost everybody, when you listen to a song, what do you do first? If you have the words, do you perform it? Think about what we do naturally, right? We don't just get something and start doing it, right? That's production. Naturally, we're listening and reading. Now, if the students are not engaged, someone said, you know, they don't like the song. Okay, you messed up. They don't like this song Jace made or they don't like any of his songs. Let's use this guy's song. That's fine. But if they're reading and listening and in really into it, no reason to push them. They'll, they'll do it when they're ready. So it's, and many teachers make this mistake, myself included, back in the day, because I assumed that doing the song meant engagement. So I think there are a lot of ways to consider what doing songs here means. Good. I'm looking at repetition. And once they know the song, then they feel more comfortable doing it, most of them. But still, not everybody's going to get up on the table and start doing it, but there are a couple that will, and you can you know, harness their energy. I want to play you a video. I'm going to extend the class by a few minutes, if that's all right, especially because we had all those delays. I don't think I necessarily would have to uh, extend it, but because of what happened, I am going to, and you can always leave and come back or check out the recording. Uh, you know, there's nothing to worry about with whether you're here the whole time or at all. Uh, I'm trying to extend it and... It's not letting me. I think I just have too much in the class. Hopefully, Hopefully it will let me extend when we get to the you know, five-minute mark here. Now. now my screen is stuck on class settings. Okay, okay. I'm, going I'm going away again. Be right back. See ya. See ya.
Okay, so uh, as Jace goes out to refresh, uh, this is something that uh, each of us can do. Um, there are, I think, um, really great songs that um, I'm going to be using in my classes. Amazing, just amazing. Okay, so we're waiting for Jace to come back. In the meantime, um, the chat's continuing and uh, people are connecting, which is what the MOOC's all about. It is about connecting. And I think that's uh, really important for us because there's no learning as far as I'm concerned without connecting with others. It is a social right. here. Jace is back. Can everybody see these lyrics? Yes, we can. Can you see? infinitives to indicate you can't can. great great i have a video but i'm not going to mess with that because i don't want to waste your time if uh, but i am going to extend the class here looks like it's going to let me i'm going to extend it by 15 minutes don't get scared about that you can leave you don't have to stay <laughs> but that way we'll have enough uh fodder for the recording later um what do you think about this song what about the level Beginners? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Someone says intermediate. Intermediate, boy, that's a really uh, big area, isn't it? Well, one thing about this song and anybody's songs, or any content, but let's keep it just to songs. Right. It could be for different levels depending on what 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 do you do as teachers where you can use the same content let's just stick with songs like this one but with different levels depends what you do with it right like what yes we got the chunks the collocations what could you do before break it in parts What do you do, baby, before you listen? Break into small pieces. You read it. You can start with a list of the verbs. Point to specific. Pre-teach. Lots of things you could do before. You can experiment. <clears throat> you may have tried and true ways, like a, a, something your students are very familiar with when they get content some way that you bring them into it. Or if it's very advanced students, and that's who I wrote this for, but it's for everybody, but I wrote this especially for TOEFL and uh, Cambridge advanced students and, and CPE and CAE, not CPE, sorry, FCE and CAE and TOEFL and IELTS. Not to introduce new vocabulary to them so much. These are students who, who would look at this and say, oh, yeah, I know most of these words. But guess what? What am I saying? Guess what? <laughs> Tell me. What was the problem? They could understand it when they... Right, so when they're reading it... Ah... Uh, but when they hear it in a TOEFL lecture, like one of those TOEFL guys, I can do the TOEFL voices, by the way. Like, we've got some news to update and claims to validate, ships to navigate and cakes to decorate. Right? Like, what? I don't know those words. Well, yes, you do. You do know them when you read them. <laughs> but you don't know them. What does it mean to know a word, we often ask. It's a great question. Thanks, David. You want to hear the other TOEFL voice? Uh, we've got contracts to terminate, uh, pests to exterminate, uh, people to liberate, and problems to eliminate. Uh, that's Mr. Nose. Yeah. Listen to part of a lecture in a biochemistry class. Anyway, I used to make TOEFL material, so thank you. Yes, yes. <laughs> but those, those voices raise the effective filter, don't they? Anyway. Anyway. Uh... <laughs> Great comments here. Um, so what I'm going to do with this one is tell you to later check out the video. The video does not have pictures. You might be disappointed 
in that sense, you might say, well, I need a picture of these collocations here. Uh, I don't have that yet. I will make one one day. Uh, but at least they're up there, kind of karaoke style. You know, they're coming in uh, so you can uh, follow along. It's a pretty fast song. Instead of doing the song fast, we're going to do it slow. Slow. And you can think about the pronunciation of these words. Many uh, A-T-E verbs, very common academic English verbs, right, with the A-T-E. Students stress the A-T-E. Have you noticed that? Like celebrate, motivate, demonstrate, exterminate. Has anyone noticed their students doing that if you teach higher level? Right? There was a lot of stress often on that eight, but we don't say motivate, exterminate. We say exterminate. And there are those patterns, the, the penultimate syllable is stressed when the, right? Too much information. Just want to listen and do it. Dora, I know DA is Dora. Uh, I'm not going to do the music for this one just because of time. We're going to do a little chant with it. Okay, but you can check it out later with the video and the music. Are you ready? We've got opinions to state. Topics to debate, art to create, and men and women to date. Books to bait, tires to inflate, cartons to one crate, and events to relate. Money to donate, places to locate, stories to narrate, and shifts to rotate. Funds to allocate, numbers to calculate, languages to translate, premises to vacate, income to generate, and points to reiterate, areas to populate, candidates to nominate, crimes to investigate, and learners to motivate. That's a chant version. By the way, if you watch my videos, you think, God, that's so fast. I've got slow chant versions of everything, too. And you can also do that yourself. Maybe you don't want to rap with the song, but you're comfortable doing it more conversational style. You can really, you can make chants super conversation style. I'll do that. We're going to do that in the next uh, stanza here. We're going to do the chorus, though. Here's the chorus. We'll do the chorus a little faster to give you a feel of the fast one. Vocabulary's not always easy to get straight. Come on, you ready? Do it with me. Vocabulary's not always easy to get straight. Especially if you're stressed because you're pressed with a test date. Too much on your plate, I'll make it easier to follow. Collar will follow, build skills for tomorrow. So that's the chorus. There are pictures with that in the video. Now watch what you can do with this next verse, okay? Very conversational style. You can just read it. And it follows the same stress patterns as the song because the stress patterns have to be natural like conversation. Everybody, let's just speak this one. Ready? We've got news to update, claims to validate, ships to navigate, and cakes to decorate, amounts to estimate, crops to cultivate, changes to initiate, and students to graduate, assets to liquidate, crises to mitigate, economies to regulate, and gears to lubricate, sentences to punctuate, diseases to eradicate, limbs to amputate, and systems to initiate, games to officiate, prisoners to interrogate, artifacts to excavate, and reasons to illustrate, models to imitate, patients to medicate, viewers to captivate, abilities to demonstrate. Right? <laughs> I just, as long as I have something to do with my energy. If I don't have something to do with my energy, then I'm in big trouble. And so is everyone else in the vicinity. <laughs> uh, I'll do the last one, the speed of the song, so you can hear what it's like. Remember, it's good to have varying tempos. Why? When is it good to hear it fast? When is it maybe good for your students to hear it fast? And we'll talk about when it's not good for them to hear it fast. When might it be good to hear it fast? After they've read it and practiced it. That's one way. When they're familiar. When they're ready. Certainly to do it fast. Is it okay to have to listen to it the fast way, the first one to scare them? <laughs> Most of you are saying, let's make it fast at the end. True. True, but one thing you can do too, now of course we're talking about intermediate and up here for this, right, would be, hey, just listen, this is it, just to see if you can catch some words, right? Just to catch some words. 
maybe you'll hear some ATE verbs. Right? If you introduce it fast at the beginning, then do a chant, look at it, and come back, that often helps. But as usual, there's so many ways to approach this and any content. Depends most on your age of your learners, their personalities, your personalities, etc. So the last one here, last verse, I'm just going to do it the right speed. So not the right speed. That was terrible. The speed of the, of the main song. I have sh uh, shorter versions also. Um, we've got contracts to terminate, pests to exterminate, people to liberate, and problems to eliminate, schedules to coordinate, results to evaluate, ideas to communicate, results, uh, motions to deliberate, land to irrigate, pain to alleviate, work to hyphenate and bombs to detonate, occasions to celebrate, magazines to circulate, machinery to operate, and buildings to evacuate, illegal drugs to confiscate, futures to contemplate, winners to congratulate, hypotheses to formulate, the youth to educate, change to activate, minds to illuminate, stimulate, and elevate. Too fast? <laughs> Certainly too fast for them to do it. But you know what? It's funny. Teachers can make this mistake. Oh, it's too fast. Meanwhile, your students are listening to, you know, Eminem and Justin Timberlake and whatever else. So it, too fast is a very relative term <laughs> uh, because, right, it really depends. It really depends. So, yeah, as far as you doing it, see, Olga's saying, I have to practice for a C, but try to break out of that idea of I have to do it the way that he did it, right? Because, you know, Content pop songs on the radio, they don't go slower and faster. So you can take it and you can do it slower with them, right? Thank you, Ines, for, by the way, I haven't thanked you for doing the copy and pasting today. Thank you. Thank you. That really helps us. But anyway, yeah, it really depends. It really depends. And one thing, last thing on this, is that uh, language out there is going to be fast, right? So if you can focus on bringing in some content that's fast, as a way to scaffold and help them build that bridge, that's that fluency bridge stuff that Drew Badger is talking about, right? That's very, very important, right? Because if you're only doing the slow stuff and then they go out and get the fast stuff, you need to provide, I think, strong opinion here, you need to build that fluency bridge. You need to provide that safety in the classroom with them where you can sh you know, direct them and help them with faster content. Professor Tony Gurr had a great question. What could we do uh, as a uh, follow-up activity to this? What do you think? Extension activity? What could we do after this? You're welcome, Dora. You're welcome, David. Stories. Absolutely. Any content, right? But especially songs because it's kind of short, right? Good fodder for stories. Have them write a short song, poems. Ooh, different words. Following this, oh, there's other other verbs that rhyme. More exposure, the easier it is. That's right. More exposure means they have to be motivated and into it. And then those multiple exposures. Very powerful. Good. Good. Okay. Great ideas. And we can continue this on the class page too. <laughs> they would faint with this. Yeah, it really depends on the learners. Remember, I did my a a apple, ball, and if you go to my YouTube channel, you'll see I got all kinds of stuff for different for different levels. Uh, I got one more thing today to share with you. Please dance, Dora. Just make sure you take a couple pictures of yourself doing that. Maybe a couple screenshots. <laughs> uh, my most popular song is called Stick Stuck Stuck. And if you know Nellie's here, Nellie is just uh, integrating technology. She's here, Helena. Mariela, yay! Mariela's a big follower. Thank you, Mariela, for your interest and commitment to Kahlo and Fluency MC. <laughs> oh, to dance! I see what you're saying, Helene. Of course you know she's integrating technology. Yeah, we should we should put... I don't, you know what? I'm not going to put Nelly on because I made a promise to myself and all of you about 25 minutes ago, which is not to mess around with the technology today. 
I'm going to add another three hours to my class because I just don't want to go away. No, I'm adding five minutes. Again, you can, <laughs> you can leave anytime you want. I could stay here all day, though. That's the honest truth. I could stay here all day. Thank you, Armando. One of these days, I will. I'll just get on. I'll be like one of those old telethons, if you're old enough to remember those. Like Jerry Lewis. I'll just never go away. Um, this is my most popular video, and I have an announcement to make about this. About this. I just talked to... To um, my DJ, his name's Alejandro. I grew up with him. He's American from the States, from St. Louis, my hometown, but he's also from uh, El Salvador. And uh, he's a great mix of cultures and music. He's a hip hop DJ. Uh, my dream is to travel with him when I teach and have him with me. Uh, the first step in that direction is he has done a remix. I'm not going to call it a remix. He has done the official version of Stick Stuck Stuck. So not the video version, but the official version. He made a whole incredible track for Stick Stuck Stuck. Uh, I'm going to have it on iTunes. There's going to be, it's the first time I'm going to be selling it. Don't worry. And there'll be a lot of great freebie stuff if you buy it. Uh, I'll do some packages with it. So I'm glad you like the video and the music in the video is fine. But you're going to have a real treat soon. Um, a new version. The official MP3 version. There's never been an MP3 officially of the song. Why am I talking to you about stick stuck stuck when we're talking about listening and pronunciation? Is there something about what I did with this song? If you know the song, that is connects directly with pronunciation. Yes. Yes. W E W is coming. That's the weekly English workout, and that's with Fluent CMC co-produced by Dr. Nelly D in the place to be. <laughs> That's WEW, Weekly English Workout. We're coming back. We're coming strong. If you know this song, what is it about pronunciation? What did I do with the irregular verbs? To consider the pronunciation, what did I do? Match them. How? Vowel sounds change. Spelling can be weird. But is there any pattern we can see? Rhythms are important. I grouped them. I grouped them. I was not the first person, of course, to do that. You can find things online where people, I can't believe there aren't more of this. There's not more of this online, but not the alphabetical list. Alphabetical order is an arbitrary system. It's not a, a pattern the brain picks up, right? It's a reference idea. You check a word, drink, drink, drunk. That's nice, but you don't learn alphabetically. We have patterns. And one of them is spelling. Another one is sound. Right? So what I did was the microphone I take to taken with enough repetition for pronunciation, a student is not going to have to think, okay, two O's is that short o long o is it took is it took i mean you can focus on words that rhyme took book right look not like pool and fool right you get into the phonics but i've seen with this song especially because of how many people do it and send me uh the results of having used it and uh video and things you repeat this enough you're going to pronounce it correctly and when i say repeat it enough I'm talking most of all about listening. So yes, the production is important, but the listening is so important. You listen to a song enough, then all those, all that pronunciation is right here. So the song goes, and let's do it together. The microphone, I take, took, take it. Actually, I'm going to do the take, and you do the shout out. Ready? The microphone, I take. You shake. Wait to the style I'm creating. Think, seek, listen to the lesson that I teach. Don't sleep. I creep. I sneak. You leap. I keep. Having fun. I'm never beat. I win. Do begin. Shoe. 
shoot. No, I don't own a gun. I lead so I can feed the knowledge you need straight to your head. When I bring, you catch, sit back, relax, don't fight. Teresa's got a good comment. Left, I don't even use that verb. Yeah, I tried really hard with this song to keep the verbs very high frequency. The one verb that I don't like that I put in was leap. And not because we don't use it, but because it's not as common as the others. But I was very, very conscious of uh, the frequency of these verbs. Uh, so you won't see anything like, uh, you know, forsake, forsook, forsaken, or weave, wove, woven. <laughs> I'm going to stop here uh, because I'm going to add another five minutes. I just keep adding and adding. Hey, if you guys want to, I'll do it. we got 84 people here. You know, if there's just 10 of you folks, then I might not do it. <laughs> I can add a few and we'll talk the rest of the time and I can take questions. That'll be fun. So if you want to get out of here, you can get out. I'll put five minutes on. It's not about me. Like I said, I can stay here all day. Let's do five minutes. We're just going to keep this slide up here. <laughs> Imagine if we could all talk here. Mariella, that's the future, and the future is coming soon. I've done WizIQ classes with small groups where we turn on the mics and the cameras. It's really great. Uh, but when we've got 84 people, we're just not going to do it, especially when your teacher loads up the class with all this stuff. and uh, <laughs> Do the poetry rap. Except that I don't have that one in my memory. The poetry rap. <laughs> Oh, goodness, I'll have to find it. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to play it. This is a song that I did expressly for my mentor, Dr. Nelly Deutsch. In case you don't know, Sylvia and Dr. Nelly are my two mentors. So how lucky am I that they both agreed to uh, do ELT techniques, right? Um, let me get... What I'm going to do is find that it's called Introduction to Poetry. I did not write this song. It's a poem. And, and I hope I can find it. Here it is. I'm going to play it for you. Can you hear it? I asked them to take the poem. And hold it up to the light like a color slide or press an ear against its hind. I say drop the mouse into a poem and watch him probe his way out. Or walk inside the poem's room and feel the walk. Feeding it with a hose to find out what it really means. We're going to run that back because it looks like it cut out for some people. <laughs> Sorry about that. Paolo, you want to interact? Let's interact, baby. Take a poem. And hold it up to the light like a color slime. Up to the or light. Press an ear against press its an high. ear against its high. I say drop the mouse. Drop a mouse into, into a, poem, a poem. And watch him probe his way out. Can he get out? Or walk inside the poem's room and feel the walls for a light switch. Go right in. Look I for the light. Into water ski across the surface of a poem. Waving at the off name on the shore but all they want to do is tie the poem to a chair with rope tie it up and no, torture no, no. a confession out of it don't torture that 
poems, poor poems. They begin beating it with a hose to find out what it really means. This poem's all about what not to do. Ha! Did you catch some of it? I'm glad you like the music because that's my edition. <laughs> I did not write the poem. You can thank Dr. Nellie Deutsch for that project. That was her idea. And she did it with her class and had a lot of fun with it. Billy Collins is the author of that poem. And I'm happy to post that stuff for you. There is a video of that somewhere. <laughs> Dr. Nellie may know more about it. Dora, thank you for your stars. Fatim for the stars. Those stars always look good. It's always great to look down and see the stars. Um, some people are leaving. How long is Jace going to keep the glass going? Uh, remember, it's fine for you to leave, but we only have a couple minutes. How about any questions or comments? I'm happy to take them. If you're wondering about the materials, I'll get everything up on Courseware. I'm glad you liked it. I saw Yousef just arrived. Down in Morocco. Over and down. Thank you for coming. I'm glad you enjoyed. Any questions? Take right here. I know it's late for a lot of folks. East of me. Glad you liked it. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> You'll stay with me here all day. I, I can just stay here. I love you too, Virginia. Virginia, don't think I've forgotten how long I've known you on Facebook. I know who you are. She's original Fluency family. <laughs> Suleiman, it's great to see you. Suleiman's new in our second move, but he's he's out there in the course feed, boy. He's very vocal. I'm glad I'm motivating people. Believe me, you're motivating me. Don't forget it. <laughs> All right. It's true, it's true man. So, silly man, you're the man. You don't want to go, go, Armando. That's what I. How many times, honestly? Let's be honest. Let's be honest you're in a physical classroom and you don't want to go. Let's be honest. Even if you like the class, right? Even if you like the class, it's possible, right? It's possible. But usually, even if you like the class, you feel good about the class. <laughs> but you, you're not like, hey, stay longer, right? It's something interesting about uh, online, right? It's more like, you know, television, you know, you might as well just keep hanging out, doing your thing, and you're interacting, right? It's exciting. It's really exciting. And people like Sylvie and Dr. Nelly and I, uh, you know, we feel it. And without your interest and participation, obviously, <laughs> it wouldn't be happening. So, um, you know, we're bringing in folks, teachers from all over the world as participants, but then they become facilitators. And facilitators, get ready because you're going to be presenters, right? That's how it's all going to happen. And a great way to get going with getting your stuff out there online is Club EFL. I don't know if Sylvia is still here. Sylvia has created with Demetrius, who made Club EFL. He owns it. He runs it. This really cool space. And we decided finally what we're doing it, doing with it, which is to make it exclusively for participants to post and comment on their work with the help of facilitators. Of course, presenters, we can go in there too and check it out. Uh, but this is really all about where you can put your work. I'm so excited about where this will go. Don't worry if you're not ready or whatever. We're going to make this space for you. We'll get people in there. Uh, Sylvia is here. Gallery of Teacher Talent, the ELTT Showcase. <laughs> Have a great day, everybody, wherever you are, whatever you do, whatever you're going. Sylvia Geiner, it's the art of teaching. Olga says, no, please don't go. It's amazing. I'm glad you thought so. Who's from Kazakhstan? I can't see it because the name just disappeared. Oh, my gosh. Far and near teachers gathering online. We could do it with the help of Rhythm and Rhyme. Bye. I'll see you all. You love me, Jace. Oh, right back at you. That's MAP in the place to be. So excited, Fluid CMC. You love the ELT spirit. So do I. It's happening because we all combine our talents and interests. I'm doing live freestyle right off the dome. Coming at you from my home in New Jersey, the United States. If you wonder why I'm flowing out, it's because I feel great when I have your reinforcement. Then I feel good. I hope you see. I hope it's understood. We're a big family wherever we are. I'm gathered around here. We can be stars. Our students, too. When we bring them the best, everybody check it out because I got to now stop and rest. <sighs>